I will now introduce our last speaker uh, this morning in the discussion. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Shoko Chisaki, uh, who is currently the assistant professor at the Department of Information Sciences, Tokyo University of Science. So this morning she will be talking to us about some constructions of drop-up designs for deep learning. Please welcome Shoko. continued from Professor Fijara's talk. I will talk about construction method for robot design. First, I introduce the definition of robot design again. Okay, let the point set be belong to the um, suppose they are mutually distinct point set and the set of blocks and the set of blocks is Master B is a collection of subsets B1 to Bn. So every this Bi is called a subset. And uh, every Bi is a subset of Bi. And this set of blocks consists of Bn subblocks. So this ordering set is one block. And the number of blocks is B. If the set of blocks satisfies these condition one and two, then it is defined as robot design of type B1 to BP. Okay, this one. About condition one, every element of BI appears exactly R I subblocks for any I. So this is condition one. And about condition two, um, we consider any successive T subblocks that is B i to B i plus one plus T minus one. Successive T subblocks for any for any J when uh, J points in B J then the blocks contain these points appear exactly under i times in set of blocks B for any i. Then the blocks contain these points appear exactly under i times. So about parameter is x of B is the set of Sorry. Uh, ordering set of um, the size of point set bi to bn. Um, vector of r is uh, ordering set of repeating number for each point set bi. And lambda i is a compliance number. This is compliance number. Or Vector, so lambda i to lambda n minus t plus one. Okay, this definition is so complicated. I will show image for about two and five. Now looking at successive two point set for about b one and b two successive two point set. Uh, then any two point in B1 and any one in B2, these three points appear exactly under one time. So this three is appearing under one time in subblocks. 
Okay, similarly, any three points that you are exactly unknown on time. So any three points. Um, next successive two point set. So the two and um, the three is also. So we need to check successive T blocks. So now two blocks. Okay, and here uh, two one five, so any two and one point from the I and the I plus one respectively are contained in the collection of I's and I plus one sub blocks. Is that three on the I time? So we check each successive two blocks, uh, two points set. Okay, here is example. So point set is P1 and it's, uh, and this one line is one block and is there one or there two or is one sub block. Now every number is appear six times. So R is six. For example, we can see zero is one, two, three, four, five, six. So every number is appearing six times. And any three, so for example, zero, one, and any two in first point set, and any one, so for example, four, five, six, seven. So this any three is appearing one time, so lambda is one. Okay. The next we add one point set, so it has three point set. Then this is also two and type proper design. So we can add second and third point set to so this part. This is one block, so one, two, three sub blocks having we can check two points in two. So any two points and any one point in third point set. So for example, four, five, and zero, one, two, and the this last line, so four, five, three, four, five. So we can check any two in B2 and any one in B3. In three point appear exactly one time. So we can check this. Now we do not have to check first and third point set. We need to check only successive two point set. So first and second or second or and third point set. In this slide, we define regular dropout design. When all point sets are of same size, all sub blocks are the same size, and all compass numbers are the same, then dropout design is called regular. Okay, here we talked about Professor Fujiwara, so we I skip so look at second theory. This is so important now. If there is this regular group of design with T point sets, which is D1 to DT type and DT, D1 to DT minus one type. So this drop of design forms type D1 to DT and DT, D1 to DT minus one. Then there exists uh, are a proper design is n point set having n point set so we can increase the number of point sets so he talks uh, For example, we have a regular dropout design with one, two type and two a type. Then we can increase the number of points. So, uh, 
time of us to do time, 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 so we can guess. Thus, it is enough to consider short point set and these types. This is a list of prior works of similar design. So here also Professor Fungal talks. I say only their works are equivalent to the robot design is two point set. So I talk I want to talk robot design having L point set. Yeah, I will start today's my topics. First is a construction method based on orthogonal array. Now we define generator matrix so, like matrix D is S times M matrix in GFQ and partitioned into N sub matrices. That is so matrix D is partitioned into M sub matrix. Some matrix GI is S times KI matrix and N is less than the number of row of G. So N is less than N of sorry, I mean six, so this is N. And considering any successive T sub matrices for any TJ vector from G I plus J minus one. So we consider in successive T sub matrices G I to G I plus T minus one for any I. The D I plus to plus D T vectors are linearly independent. Then G is called a generator matrix for a D one to E T type local design. We use this matrix and construct local designs. It is similar way to make an orthogonal array. Yeah, it is an uh, example. This G is two times four matrix. So this is generator matrix for one one type local design. We can check now n two vector, which is choose one in G1 and one in G2. So any two vector is linearly independent. And the two dimensional vector in G3 multiply G multiplied by matrix G and do level conversion. So we add three to the second and fourth curves. So then this matrix forms proper design of type 1, 1. So we can check any pair which is 1 in the first set, first part, so 1 in first part, and 1 in second part appears one time. So for example, 0, 0 is this line, or 1, 1 is this line only in this. Same way, we make type one one one. So like this. Now, looking at some matrix, sorry, uh, this D is generator matrix for one 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 type of design. So any three vectors from each point set one one one. And three is linearly independent. Proper design, one one type is like this. Now, looking at some matrix G2, so this part. Now, this matrix rank is 2. So, if some matrix has lower rank than G's rank, so this G's rank is. Uh, sorry. Uh, not which is rank. Uh, some matrix has lower 
bank, the, the number of G's roll. So now G has three rows. Then the proper design has repeat star block. This second part has repeat blocks. For example, 0, 3 is 1, 2, 3 times. So it has repeat blocks. When we approve repeat blocks, we can increase the size of star blocks by adding the same column or each multiple to star matrix. So we add for example, 0, 0, 002 in G1. So we can increase the sub matrix size. So if, if we are the repeat blocks, we can increase the size of sub blocks for infinity. This time we talk about the method for not having repeat blocks. Okay, it shows the construction for organ type robot design from projective plane. The number of the points in projective plane or order Q is Q square plus Q plus one. And their points, uh, any two points are linearly independent. So their points put in a palm like this. Or then this D is generator matrix for one one five proper design. So which two have K one and K two column respectively. So I separate two part for this D. Okay, if three is projective space. And this dimensional M and order Q. So let M, K be integers and Q is a prime power. If there is K points, no C or which are collinear in projective space, then the exist one one type proper design is parameters like this. Uh, in similar way as projective plane, we partition k points into three parts. So then any three vector which run in each part is effectively are uh, really independent. Uh, about the distance of these k points in projective space, I conclude some no result here. So for example, we use conic or conic plus nucleus for elliptic so, and so on. Okay, it was, I talked about one one or one one type so far. So next I talk about two one type design. For example, I, as I mentioned, this G is a generator matrix for one one type of a design. This D, you know, any two vector is uh, linear independent. So, but now we can check that any two vectors in G1, so any two, and any one vector in G2 are linear independent. So, we can see any two and one are linear independent. So this matrix can be said a uh, generator matrix for two one type. So, but we need to append some blocks which are not appearing on one type. So it is the uh, same method as recursive construction for BRDD from uh, DDD and uh, BRDD. So maybe everyone. No, almost no. Okay, in this case, we add direct products between 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8 as blocks. 
Okay, I show the example example using this key. Okay, first, this blue part is from one type blue part design. So I made a bone. I have in some blocks which the condition does not appear at the same row. So, for example, 0, 1, 2 are not in the same row. So 0, 1, 2 is not in the same row. I have in these nine blocks, so direct product between 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, so this is one block. I, I add this, these nine blocks. Okay. So then these 36 blocks form a two-one proper design, so we can check any three points which Two points in first part. So first part is here and here and here. So one line is one block. Uh, N3 is appearing one time. So for example, zero one, uh, zero three, zero is this one. So zero one zero is only here. Okay, like this, we use projective plane of order Q and constructs Q and type. Okay, on generator matrix G1 is like Q plus one points on line L, and G2 is Q square points except the line L. So then M3 points P, I, P, J, uh, and R, K are linear in the case. Uh, the Q plus one points put in a column and Q square points except the line F puts in a column. And Q1 and T2 is which is elements which does not appear in the same sub blocks. So there is written down like this Q1 and Q2. Thus we obtain two and type with two point set. Okay, part two, two part. So we have two point set, two and type of our design with parameters. This construction method can be extended further. So we can do one type and one two type regard of a design. So we choose two lines L and L prime through the point P. Sorry, I. points except point P. So, um, the two points of two the set minus or P. So two points put in uh, in uh, each column. And G2 is two points of L prime except point P. Now G is uh, generate a matrix for two one and one two type of our design. Okay. Then this design is available to the theorem. I talked about this part, so we can increase the point set by using the theorem. Now, this design has two points set, so, but 
it is to run and run to type. So we can increase the point set by time over. So as third point set, we put first set. So and fourth point set, we put second. And so on. Oh, finally, so finally, I show another method for 2 and 1 to 5 for design. So this theorem is general generalization of balanced bipartite block design, so which is proposed by Mishima, Dimbo, and Kageyama in 2001. Okay, balanced bipartite block design is equivalent to session. The afternoon session will start at 1.30 p.m. So I believe the lunch now is ready outside. Um, so before we go, uh, please join me to thank all the speakers this morning session. <laughs>